evidence released today has a lot of people uh, shocked and saddened. It was one of the topics addressed at a community conversation tonight in St. Paul, the fourth of eight such events. This time, both Mayor Chris Coleman and Police Chief Todd Axel were there, not just to say a few words, but to listen. We continue our team coverage tonight with Jeff Wagner. And Jeff, you were at last night's meeting, so how did this one compare? Yeah, Amelia, Chief Axel and Mayor Coleman's presence was a huge difference because it gave people there someone to direct their demands and concerns towards, which were typically about police training, the justice system, and more. But the release of the evidence connected to the case only invigorated their passion. Please join me in 60 seconds of silence. Pausing for a moment of silence, what followed at the Wilder Foundation was another opportunity for community members to vent, grieve, and demand change. Everybody empathizes with people that pass away. What are your actions? What's your game plan for this? Mayor Chris Coleman mentioned how all city employees undergo racial bias training. Police Chief Todd Axtell emphasized a racially diverse class of new recruits, and as they listened to ideas and suggestions. This video might be the start of something different, man. I don't, I don't know, man. Other local leaders pondered how quickly that change could happen as they viewed the dash cam video of then officer Gerardo Moyanez shooting Philando Castile. Oh, there's no faith in this system if that's validated. None, none whatsoever. What can I tell my students who are going in law enforcement? What can I tell them? NAACP President Jason Saul hopes people take advantage of healing spaces around the Twin Cities to express their emotions, but Michelle Gross, the executive director of Communities United Against Police Brutality, worries the video has only increased the anger in people who already felt Castile's death was unjust. People are furious, and for every good reason. This officer shouldn't have been an officer. He had a history of panicking in situations like that. And one other point several people also mentioned tonight is that they'd like to see St. Anthony Police Chief John Mangsith at these meetings, as well as representatives of the local police union. All right, Jeff, thank you. Mm -hmm. And stay with WCCO for continuing coverage. We will have the latest online and on our morning news, which starts at 430.